instead of uh, doing it directly on the wall in the card room, we're going to do it on the canvas, and then we're going to, it's going to be glued up like wallpaper. Applying a acrylic based texture that has crushed seashells in it and sand from Hamilton Beach <laughs> uh, to create the look of sort of a Florentine stone wall. And then the next step is to do the raised ornaments on it. the plaster through the stencil. Okay, uh, now that the stenciling's all dry, I'm going to do step five, which is to sand it all so it feels a little bit smoother. Okay, so now I'm sealing the plaster with a primer, it's an acrylic primer, and it's tinted to sort of a light, lighter color than what I want the overall color to be. It doesn't dry too fast because it's this it's got um, extenders in it or retarders so that it stays wet longer but when you've got it's kind of hot in here and I've also I have the lights on and so that is going to speed up the drying time just because of the heat. Just move it around now with this. Kind of work it into the um, texture, the recesses of the texture. And it just also takes out any roller marks, or if you're using a brush, takes out brush strokes. And this is a hog hair stickler that I'm using. I just rolled on the glaze and then I took a rag and wiped off the excess glaze to uh, make the uh, texture more prominent. And now I'm just kind of wiping off a little bit more glaze off the raised ornament so that it pops out more and gets ready for the hand painted colors. I'm applying a water-based gold size and you put the size on, which is a glue, where you want the gold leaf 
and then once it's dry, uh, it'll be sticky but not wet, and then you can apply the whole thing. So this is not uh, actually real gold leaf. This is, this is a. I have both in my stock. <laughs> But this is Dutch metal, which is like a brass imitation metal. So it's a lot cheaper. And uh, it's a, on this backing paper, so you want to put it gold side down and rub the back. So I am finished the gold leaf and now I'm putting on these water-based colors. I'm putting three different colors on. A green, an ultramarine blue, and some magenta. So I've got all my my colors in the detail that I wanted and I'm going to put on an antiquing glaze now. So it's a, it's a translucent medium, slow drying medium, and I have tinted it with uh, some couple of different brown colors. Blend it all with the stickler, the specialty brush that I love. <laughs> I'm going to take a dry rag and I just gently wipe off the raised areas. And then you see more, more of the texture again. Thank you.